How's it going everybody? Today we are back with more Subnautica, and anyways, let's just get right into this. In the last episode, we... One second, I need to change the settings. In the last episode, we found out that this got shot by a laser. I said an energy wave, but it's a, it was actually a laser. And we don't know where it came from. This planet doesn't look like it had anybody on it. Oh, good lag. Anyways, in this episode, we are going to be starting off by making a sea glide. And to make that... Oh, God. Come on. There we go. <laughs> to make that, we need a battery, lubricant, wire, copper wire, and titanium. We have the titanium, we need the lubricant, and everything else that's red there. Anyways, I'm just going to stick a bunch of this stuff in here. Gonna need this. Metal salvages will give you a um, good bit of titanium. Anyways, I need this copper. I need more copper. Anyways, to make a battery, you need two of these acid mushrooms that I found floating over at the creep vine area. I believe it's called the creep vine forest. I don't know. Anyways, in the last episode, I actually was watching it back. I didn't show the fact that I made the O2 tank. My bad. Also, you guys cannot hear audio. I figured that out as well. And I sounded like an idiot when the, um... I was getting attacked by the crash fish. There we go. There's a copper. Now we need lubricant. Let me find the creepvine forest. They're usually on the other side of this giant coral thing. Yep, right there. This giant coral thing will give you... A bunch of these limestone outcrops oh Jesus what did I do also in oh, oxygen um, in these creep vine forests you find stalkers which are these guys they sound very scary and I'm hoping that this guy doesn't decide to attack me I'm gonna take this salt oh Jesus it's after me hey 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 I'm having lag help this is a long lag spike like, I've been here for, like, ten seconds now. Alright, I'm good now. I don't know why that happened. Anyways, we're just gonna start to get attacked again. Um, oh my god. Now, here we actually have a Karar-infected stalker. We'll get into what the Karar is later. Anyways, I picked up two peepers and just saw my way. Peepers are like the best food in this game, I believe. So, we're gonna go ahead and need lubricant, which I think maybe crashed my game. Or the computer. if the video cut out or not. This is taking. All right, let's just take in the nice old sunlight for a minute because I haven't seen it in like five minutes now because of this lag. I don't know why this wasn't doing this yesterday, but it's doing it now and it's really annoying. Also, I'm sorry for that maybe one minute or two that you guys just kind of stared there at a screen that wasn't moving. I don't know. I'm going to have to probably delete some files on the game. Because I know that there's a file that you have to delete. So, 
I'll take care of that in between episodes. I'll be right back. And with the two peepers, eat one, eat the other. There we go. Anyways, now we need to make... One second. I'm getting a lot of feed through my headset right now. One second. Okay, well, I wasn't able to pause and read that, but you guys can go back and read it. Anyways, you can get first aid kits, and I'm just going to use that, because why not? Anyways, communications relay. <laughs> this is Life Pod 3, uploading our coordinates. We are plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we are late for the... That word. I... I've seen that word so many times. Rendezvous. Rendezvous? I don't know. Don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Alright. Anyways. That gave us coordinates to life pod three. If we go outside, it's nighttime. Crew reported their sea glide damaged. <laughs> Once we make our sea glide, we will go ahead and go over there. Anyways. I made all the materials. And there we go. Perfect. Now we go out here. And this also has a flashlight on it. So that's pretty nice. Anyways. I'm gonna have to wait until daytime. Because you guys won't be able to see anything. Also the one thing about the sea glide is that it takes up a lot of your inventory. So, yeah, just be aware of that. Oh, pause button. What is my, what is that doing? What, okay. Oh, I have a welder penis now. Oh no. What, what have I done? What if, can I go outside and fix it? Yep, it's fixed now. Whoa. I had a welder penis. That was weird. All right, another message came in. As I was just sitting here goofing off. This is, autom this is an automated distress signal from life pod 4. Coordinates attached. Since planet fall, pod has not sustained damage. No life crew members have disembarked. And zero life signs have been detected on board. Recommended investigation. Okay. I believe that one is over near the Aurora. You can kind of see the Aurora. I can't really shine a light on it or anything. It's way far away and it's huge. Alright, well, my knife is doing it too, so now I have a knife penis. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but you can kind of see the circle. If I go down, it'll fix. Oh, nope, it didn't fix. I still... I st <laughs> Oh, I can I can swing with it as well. I can I can swing with it. It just does nothing. Now it looks like I have like my hands clenched like I'm constipated. Oh my god. All right, this is life pod 17, coordinates attached. It looks like looks like the forward seamoth bay collapsed around me. Do not attempt to rescue without laser cutters. You'll only add to the body count. Life pod 17 out. So when we go to 17, we have to remember to bring a laser cutter. Which we need a, um, what do you call A diamond for. I'm gonna take out one of the quartz and insert that. <laughs> oh, and also tells you. That's useful. Anyways. If you go to these giant coral tubes, you can actually attack them and you'll get coral samples. With coral samples, you can go up and, what is that, two? And grab that. If we go in here, you can make bleach. Perfect, right? Anyways, with bleach, I made two of them, by the way, just off screen so it didn't lag. You can make, <laughs> I'm about to cough, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> um, you can make disinfected water, which, gives twice as much water as the filtered water as you can see it this one is six oz and this one is a dozen 
So you can see that we now have that, but I'm not going to use it yet because something was just dropped upstairs. I don't know what that was. Um, anyways, also there's more tabs into this. You can look at all these screenshots. Whoa, that hurt my eyes. Anyways, and then there's the data bank. It's amazing. Anyways, I'm just going to start heading over to this because we're running short on time. So I'll see you guys there. Anyways, I think we basically have made it. All I did was I went across one of the creep vine forests. And yeah. Here we are. There's a stalker right there. The stalkers are hostile. I'm just not scared of them anymore. Anyways, you can get some sea glide fragments over here too. And there's a PDA tablet. Anything else in here? Anyways, there's a sea glide fragment. We have a sea glide already, so I'm not going to pick it up. Just a waste of inventory space right now. And what is this? High capacity tank. What is O2 tank and 2 titanium. That's cool. I didn't know that that existed. Oh, okay. Something's happening. Seismic readings suggest that quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. The, the reactor will reach a supercritical state in T minus 10987654321. So, it's going to explode. I'm going to turn the audio off really quick so I can talk. I will help the countdown since you guys can't hear it. Three, two, one. Anyways, so the aurora has exploded, in which increasing radiation levels. So, if we go anywhere near that, we are going to get radiation poisoning. We did earlier, too. Oh, Jesus. My God. I hate the stalkers. They always, like... They, they stalk you, obviously, and then they get you. They do damage. They don't do a lot, though. Anyways... Back to the safety of my life pod. So, I would have done some off-screen work before this episode, but that event right there would have happened, and I didn't want to have that happen off-screen. So that's why I did that. Anyways. Oh, my hands are clenched, so... I don't know why that's happening. Go off the thing! Oh my god. Also, I caught this little guy. He looks very happy to be in my hand. I'm gonna go cook him. And there you go, little buddy. Perfect. That was tasty. Anyways, now that we have explored that little area down there, I'm gonna take off the distress signal from that. I'm gonna take out what is it, 17? And we are going to put on 17. See, Moth Bay collapsed around them. So it's down that way. And it's away from the Aurora, so it's easier to go down there. I'm going to go see what I can do there really quick. And I'll be right back. Before I go, I'm going to grab two acid mushrooms and I'm going to make an extra battery because I don't want my sea glide to die and then me get stranded. That always sucks. Anyways, we're only like 200 meters away from it. Also, I hear a very loud noise and it sounds like a reef back. Anyways, these, I, I forgot what the name of it was, but um, well that's a reef back. I'll go up to it in a bit. It's actually kind of scary. Well, it's not really scary, but, um... It's more of a... It's so big that it's kind of scary. 
and it's loud as well. Anyways, there's another PDA. I'll be reading these at the end of the episode. Anyways, I'm going to go check out this little area over here. Also, I'm going over the time limit because apparently I didn't have everything deleted for last episode. So, one second, I'm about to die. Anyways, around this area, we we might find a Seamoth fragment. That's what I'm going to hope for. Um, I'm just going to take a look around. Also, there's these guys. This guy is a sand shark. He will just kind of chase you and then damage you. It's just a basic enemy. And... What is this? Another bioreactor. See, this is where it's supposed to spawn. That's weird. And what do you know? That is another sea moth fragment. Awesome. So we have unlocked the sea moth, and I think that's a good place to end it off. Tyler, why are you playing Gary's Mod still? Anyways. Let's head over to our life pod and we will end off the video. Forgot about the reef backs. These guys are just giant idiots, I guess you could say. Anyways, I'm gonna get air really quick. These guys are loud. You guys should look up the um, sounds they actually make. Anyways. You can break a barnacle and you actually get a material. I'm gonna scan him. Which apparently takes long enough. Also, these guys are completely friendly. They do not do any damage. The things on them can do damage if you do anything. Anyways, if you break a barnacle, let me see. Nope, that didn't work. Why is there a floater stuck to you? Anyways. Break a barnacle. I'm trying to find a barnacle. I can't find a barnacle. Where? Right. Barnacle. There. Not the acid mushroom. <laughs> Anyways. I can't seem to find a barnacle, but if you break it, you can get, like, copper and stuff like that. Come on. Trying to find one. I look like a complete idiot. It looks like a massage gun, probably. And it looks like we have more sea moth fragments over here. I don't know what this is. I need air, though. Anyways, back down we go. Um, I see two sea... I, I see three. There's one right there, one right there, and one right there. I'm gonna check the surrounding area for other stuff. Like more bioreactors. Um, we have a vending machine. That's going to take long enough. Also, you won't see me picking up a lot of this other bioreactor fragments because of the fact that you don't need any more than what you have. If you get any more, you're just wanting the titanium. And I don't need the titanium right now. Oh my god, one second. Oh my... Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh my god, I'm flying. That was weird. Also, these reef bags are absurdly loud. I'm gonna see what- I'm gonna try one more time if I can get a barnacle. They they don't stop moving, so it's kinda hard. Oh, I got one. I don't know where it went though. I have no clue where the material went. Also, I picked up an acid mushroom, I don't want it. And it looks like there's an eclipse happening. Eclipses happen from time to time on this game. Um, anyways. It just covers the sun and makes it look like it's nighttime for a little bit. You can see that it's kind of happening right now. And you'll see the sun pop out, like, right there. And it's over. Yep. Kind of cool. Anyways, let's let's end this off with our data downloads. Life pod. Life pod seventeen. The life pod made planet fall in intact approximately one hour ago. 
environmental instruments were knocked offline when the Aurora's Seamoth Bay collapsed around me. With my face pressed to, to the glass, I can make out the shadow shifting about in the water below me. Every so often, the pod is rocked by some kind of collision. I can't tell whether the pod is bumping up against the rocks or there is something out there that's trying to get in. Either way, the hole is beginning to buckle. I can see what's left of the aurora from the top hatch. We were carrying any we were carrying any carrying anything, sorry, and everything we might need to complete the phase gate. Mobile vehicle bays, bioreactors, propulsion cannons. I'm going to go out and scavenge what what I can find. See if I can reinforce the life pod hole. And as you can see, there was nobody there, so they obviously died. Just kind of sad. <laughs> Anyways. Situational analysis complete. Communications relay offline. Damn it, how are we going to find the others to without a rendezvous signal? We have to uh, compass bearing on where the other pods went down. You want to just swim for it? If there's any rescue coming, it might be years away. I see a sea glide outside the hatch. If we fix it up, we can get to the others and salvage the materials we need to build a permanent habitat. We're a few rooms away from relative luxury. I'm going out to see what I can find. Anyways. Alien life forms, I picked up this fauna herbivores reef back. Anyways. I don't know that word. Anyways, you can you can read all this if you want. These guys are just you can see a threat level meter right here. You can see they are not even a threat. Anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to hit the like button. I did this video before the next one came out. The next one will come out in about two hours. So, anyways, I'll talk to y'all later. Have so it's a great day. Okay, my penis is in the way of opening this storage container. This is not good. Um, and I can't, I can't let go of it. God, why?